Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Stellar Lumens, aka XLM. So let's just dive in. And let's start with this tweet here from uh, Danielle Dixon. She is saying, just wrapped up my day at Money 2020. The event was packed and full of fintechs that see the value of Stellar and blockchain. Great to have such a strong presence from our team and our ecosystem financial transformation is upon us. Now, I personally have been talking about these events um, like crazy. And I know that a lot of these events don't mean a lot to most. Uh, but you got to understand that even the Meridian 2020, I think it was uh, the 2022 uh, event that they uh, had. I was stuck with the uh, 2020 up here. Um, but the Meridian event was also pretty big. It was good for community growth. It was great for um, announcements of partnerships after the fact, which, yes, we have those as well. Um, but it's also a little bit of an insight on what's happening. Uh, for example, will crypto and digital currencies render the remittance business obsolete? Uh, we want to have more insight around this space. We want to have more insight on how not only crypto, um, but also the traditional system, how they will both interact with each other, how they will both sort of live through each other and actually complement each other, which I've always talked about uh, with Ripple with Swift as well. Um, I think that Swift could benefit greatly from utilizing uh, crypto driven use cases and crypto driven uh, products. And when we look at this, right, it's it leads me to the next major um, announcement here from Stellar as well, which was collaboration is key uh, to create a financial system uh, that is truly built for everyone. Our industry must work with traditional financial services and remittance businesses. Like I said, collaboration is key here. Uh, we all need to play to our strengths and work together to solve large problems. This is why I say this technology is very com uh, complementary. You know, when we looked at XRP, when we look at XDC, when we look at any major project in the space, I always mention the fact that like, you know, these major giants, these, you know, financial giants could benefit greatly from utilizing uh, this technology. This is why this technology is so transformative and uh, disruptive. So when we look at this and we kind of zoom out and we look at the value proposition here for crypto, it is absolutely mind blowing. It's massive. Um, and I don't say you know, those words to create a buzz or anything like that. I'm just saying like, it's actually something revolutionary um, when you look at the face value of this stuff. So again, I just want to share with you guys that these events are crucial to get an insight on those big moments happening around crypto. And I think that this one is, is very key. It's crucial to really kind of focus on the fact that we are seeing a huge shift happening around the financial system. I mean, it, we are seriously seeing a digital financial system being created before our eyes that will be bridged to the traditional system that we know of today. And uh, we do see over here from Stellar as well today, SDF announced a 5 million enterprise fund investment in SendWave app, the uh, fast growing mobile m uh, money app, introducing simpler, cheaper solutions for users to transact and send money affordably. Like I said, pay attention to all of these big uh, use cases. This is a company that has only 4.4K followers, but they are opening the door for a lot more money to be moved within areas that need it. I mean, if you look here, right? Wave has shown progress in this area, introducing simpler, cheaper solutions that have helped it gain users at an impressive rate, serving over 10 million monthly users across all these areas uh, with a network of over 30,000 agents. Wave is expanding access for users to deposit, withdraw, pay merchants, and pay bills for free and send money more affordably. Like This is huge for the retail sector. And we do see down here, Seller Development Foundation and Wave share a common mission to bring equitable um, access to financial products across the world. I'm thrilled to collaborate with SDF to bring digital solutions for ha or uh, for saving and transferring money across Africa. This is absolutely huge. Like this is transformative technology. I've always been talking about this and I've always been mentioning this when we talk about XLM because it truly is bridging the gap between crypto and the retail sector. And it's disrupting the retail sector at a very rapid pace, especially with projects like SendWave. Awesome to see. And also, this was not the only major announcement. Over here, we do see Prime Trust Co. Uh, this is Prime Trust has built a reputation for its cutting edge innovation in the digital economy. Today at Money 2020, Prime Trust Co. announced its support of USDC on Stellar through their liquidity product. This is huge as well. When we look at this, you can actually see how large of a company this actually is. So we do see building the future of fintech. By the way, they have a ton 
of use cases. They have a crypto exchange, alternative trading system, payment platform, custodians, wealth management, lending and borrowing, crypto on and off ramp, stable coins. You mention it. And this company is not shy at all. They have a ton of uh, case studies on here as well. You could read all about their case studies over here. So like right now they only have one, uh, which is a swan, uh, which by the way, this is actually a, a very large case study. If you actually look at this, you can see the full on breakdown of this, uh, talking about like 1 billion run, uh, runway, uh, rates and things like that. It's pretty huge, but nonetheless, I want to talk to you guys about the about section of prime trust to share with you guys who is backing this project, why this project is going to be big and why I think that this is great for XLM. So first off, we do see, we believe the future of finance will be defined by digital assets. That's why we're on a mission to create innovation and easy to use infrastructure that prioritize, uh, prioritizes access, transparency, and speed powering innovation in the digital economy. And they do mention a full, um, in-depth view on how they are going to be doing this. And then down here, we do see institutional in scale infrastructure that powers the future of fint or uh, fintech. Yeah, 500 plus integrated platforms, 300 million API calls a month, and $2.5 billion transacted and settled per month. Yeah, this company is the real deal. And down here, we do see the full um, announce or the full uh, partners that they have currently. This is just like the main ones. And you guys can see like a lot of this is. Uh, some big names. I think that this is a huge company. I think that everyone should be paying attention to this. They have a ton of products, like I said, a ton of use cases. Uh, this is huge. I think that this is incredible. And by the way, if you want to read fully about this, you guys can check it out over on Prime Trust website. Uh, this just got posted yesterday. Uh, it says Prime Trust adds support for USDC on Stellar. And it really kind of breaks this fully down on why, all that kind of stuff, and especially cross border payments. Cross border payments has always been a big focus point for me. I think that's a huge market that is ripe for disruption, especially around this market, which we have talked about with XRP a lot. Uh, in fact, we've talked about it for many, many times in the past. But this is just another major announcement for them. Uh, if you go and look at all of the major announcements that they've had in terms of the partnerships and the projects building out on Stellar, it is a substantial list. And here you guys have it. You can, you can check all of them out. This is huge. I mean, like this is an ecosystem that continues to grow and there's a next page and uh, the pages go on for a while here. I mean, like this is the scope of how large Stellar actually is. Uh, They're becoming an absolute giant within the fintech space. Uh, They're a financial leader around crypto and I do believe that they will continue to do so. And again, you could actually filter this out through everything, but they are seriously an absolute giant in crypto. And I think that everyone should be paying attention to what Stellar is doing, especially around retail adoption. And like I said, this is going to continue to grow and grow and grow. And uh, what I really want to talk to you guys about uh, during the end of this video is breaking down the full on quarterly report and the development happening behind the scenes and the statistics behind uh, Stellar. So we have been talking about XLM for a while in terms of the volumes behind it, the payments, all that kind of stuff. And here we have the Ledger Explorer and Analytics platform for Stellar uh, Network. So this actually gives you a full on breakdown of price, accounts, everything. And I want to take a second to look and analyze a few things here. So one, I want to talk to you guys about the total accounts. So we are seeing about 7 point, almost 3 million accounts here. The reason why I bring this up is because we talked recently about the quarter two 2022 uh, report from Stellar. They had about almost 7 million uh, during quarter two of 2022. We are nearing the end of quarter three of 2022. And when we look at this, we have grown already well over almost 260 plus thousand accounts. That's insane. Daily active accounts is sitting at about almost 69,000. I don't know if they have the, I don't think that they have the active accounts over here, uh, but they do have the total payments. Total payments were sitting at about 90.9 .9 million, almost 91 million, which is a huge comparison compared to like quarter two of 2021, which they do have um, comparisons here in terms of like quarter two of 2021 to quarter two of 2022. We broke this down before, um, but this is, the total payments. I don't know if they have the total over here. Um, I don't know if they have uh, a full breakdown on that or anything like that. Maybe down here, but nonetheless, um, we know that this is a very large amount of transactions that are being processed on a daily basis. I mean, I think that they even have the transactions. Um, I think that this might be a second. I'm pretty sure. So this is pretty huge. And you can also see all of this in real time, by the way, you can see all of the, uh, we'll, we'll go off of not show and fail transactions just real quick. 
you can see all of the transactions that are being processed. And this is happening every couple seconds. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Uh, but let me go back real quick. So again, um, when we look down here at the average daily decentralized exchange volume, this is sitting at about 38.7 million, almost 38.8 million. Uh, decentralized exchange volume right now is sitting at about 13.5 million, which is down quite a bit. Uh, I will say that. But a lot of these statistics have been growing rapidly. And I think that when we look at all these major projects going fully live uh, with all of the major marketing that we are seeing from Stellar as well, I think that's only a matter of time before we start seeing a lot of these numbers starting to pick up. I mean, in fact, when you look at the ledger performance on the all time chart here, you actually see the processed operations were, and this is from September to October of this year, 701.5 million processed operations. That's insane. It's the largest, the largest overall month of ledger uh, performance. And then down here, we do see the accounts as well. The accounts to um, number of accounts. So daily active accounts are sitting at about 79.9K, almost 80,000. So when we actually look back here, I actually do have that uh, statistics. I didn't think that I did. So let me go to um, active accounts. Um, I think it was up here, actually. I seen it somewhere around here or I, I, I maybe, maybe not. Um, it's still a very substantial amount, but nonetheless, when we look at a lot of these, you could see the number of total accounts growing rapidly. I mean, even going back to, we'll say going back a year ago, right? You could see how large of an opportunity this actually is. All right. I thought I was at a one year ago. So, all right, there we go. So 5.8 point, like 5.8 million to about 7.2 million huge growth and also new assets and trust lines. This has started to slow down a little bit in terms of newly created assets, but we're still sitting at about 11.2 K total funded trust lines and total established trust lines are incre increasing day in and day out. I mean, like this is insane. We're adding well over a million plus newly established trust lines and even founded trust lines, which is crazy to say the least. Um, but yeah, it's very exciting to see XLM continue to grow like this. I don't know if they have the full on. Um, so here's the full on network um, activities. We actually see the payments and trades down here as well. So you can see payments 39.2 million uh, in October of 2022. September of 2022, we did see about 43 million payments. And you can see the trades as well. Decentralized exchange volume is actually sitting at about 303.5 million XLM. And uh, when we go back here to uh, September, it was about 613.8 million, which is insane. Uh, circulating XLM supply and fee pool. You can see all of that uh, labeled here and then operations distribution. Like this breaks down everything. It's fully transparent, but you could see a lot of growth happening around XLM, which this is great, by the way, to gauge on how successful uh, Stellar is as a network. You could see a ton of growth. You could see mainstream media or uh, mainstream adoption of XLM essentially within the crypto space, not globally yet. I think that that will come soon, but we can see how utilized XLM actually is, which is incredible. And I think that this is because they are focused on the retail sector so much. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on. If you guys have more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, up to you all. Have a beautiful day. Beautiful night. If you guys are in this beautiful world, it's been Nick. Peace out, guys.